they choose which one is right. And sometimes they give away things they developed and they want to do and produce that movie. Uh, I, I never do that. I'm a one movie at a time kind of guy. I think as long as I, I still have the stamina to make movie, I think I, I still want to make it. Making movie is fun, but sometimes dealing with people is not fun. <laughs> Those times, I would think about quitting, but I'm, you know, I, I still want to make movies. I, I don't know why I'm you up. I, I feel like I'm the slave, not a master of filmmaking. For people who I know make movies, um, they're that kind. They, they, they don't know what, what makes them keep making movies. They just have to do it. We're the slaves. I, I cannot imagine how my life is without moving. One thing I know, I know my wife will kick me out of the house. <laughs> That's a big reason. I'm not joking. <laughs> the most unfree place to make movie is America. Uh, not politically, of course. But American film, particularly Hollywood, is it, it, an establishment. It's not only financially, and it, it's the film language, it's how things operate, ideology, all that, you have to function in certain ways. Um, I think that, that, that bothers me. And I try to, movie after movie, I try to break away. But I also have to negotiate with it. Uh, time is better now than before, as far as I can tell. Uh, but but you, you have to know the American film language, how that is established in the world, because not only America, the whole world watches movies in certain ways. That's establishment, the film, like how things go, uh, the genres, and all of that. You, you have to know your craft to, do, to, to either adapt or to negotiate to make a difference. You, you have to know your stuff. That, that's my opinion. Let me go back to uh, um, Outsider a little bit. Outsider is scary. You don't have a sense of belonging, and everybody around you, or the potential audience or critics, they're very scary. Um, but but, but I, I think uh, it's, it's scary is good. Um, it, it, it tends to do your best when you're scared. Uh, I think if, if I'm not scared, I, I can be lazy, and I'm afraid. My biggest fear is that I keep repeating myself, and I lose my freshness. I'm not doing my best. Uh, freshness is important. I feel like every movie I want to be feel like personal. It's like I make movie for the first time. I have to somehow put myself uh, in that position. Um, yeah, scary is, is bad. <laughs> but I'm also put myself in the insecurity and doing my best. And, and that makes me feel all right. Even the movie flopped, uh, you're still doing your best. I think that's a wonderful thing. And being an outsider, I like to be accepted as an outsider. I want to feel all right being an outsider. Uh, the thing about outsider, after I make so many movies as an outsider, uh, the benefit is that you, you get to, because you're objective, you're not really attached to it, you get to the subtext really fast. Like people say, how do you do ice storm? It's like 20th century American 70s, uh, experience in the suburbs so accurate. You grew up in Taiwan. How, how did that happen? To me, those are. I don't know why that's difficult. <laughs> um, because I see the subtext. I see the subtext right away. Uh, on the contrary, when I make Chinese film, it's very hard for me to see the subtext. What the theme? What the movie is really about? The undercurrent. But the text, I, I'm familiar with. On the other hand, when I'm outside of the, the text, I have to be diligently adapt, learning and checking with filmmakers.